All right. We want to write the ionic equation for the dis dissolution and the KSP expression for each of the following slightly soluble ionic compounds. We're going to do uh, E down here because it is the trickier one. Now, the um, reason to say trickier is our KSP is found by just looking at the individual ions that would form when that dissolves. And we would get something like like so, at least we think at first, because it's just going to have one calcium, one sulfur. It's like up here on D, we would have had um, lead. But since there are two hydroxides for each lead hydroxide, we'd have the two hydroxides. But turns out on E, it's not correct to have that S there. And that's because S is strong enough as a base that when it actually reacts or gets in with water, it's a nice little one-way reaction where it makes a bunch of HS and OH. So what we need to do whenever we see S in a KSP is we need to switch that, each one of those S's, into an HS and an OH.